like you said, you've been consistent with this Thank issue you. of raising or engaging mercenaries time and again. And, and I recall the Minister of Defense uh, really saying, well, we're not going to do that. But I, I want to believe that beyond raising this, I mean, in conversations with, I mean, journalists like us, you probably have raised this at the highest level with the president. And I believe reasons were given to you as to why this is not feasible or this will not be done now. But it appears as though those reasons might not be, you know, sound enough for you. What reasons have been given uh, regarding Nigeria's reluctance in engaging mercenaries to prosecute this war? Uh, I have had series of consultations with them. Mr. President has never told me that he will not engage mercenaries, but uh, it seems the federal government as well as the Nigerian army have developed a lukewarm attitude towards bringing the mercenaries. They have developed a cold fit. So I think one of the reasons is cost. And then the second reason, to the best of my knowledge, I think the Nigerian army felt that the Nigeria is big enough. Uh, well, 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 no, the Nigerian army of last 30 years, of last 40 years, is better than the Nigerian army of nowadays. It's sad. It's very sad. We're supposed to have uh, gone far in terms of development. But you look at the equipment that we have in the last 40 years are still in existence. Yes, Mr. President has procured some equipment. The equipment are coming. But when will they arrive? That's, that's a serious thing that they should look into it. Because we need to uh, address this issue immediately. Otherwise, the issue will consume the greater part of the nation. But I think I've seen Mr. President uh, 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 has invited member nations of the Lecture Basin Commission. He has interfaced with the President of Niger, President of Chad, and other presidents in the region. Uh, this will go a long way in solving the issues. To the best of my knowledge, although I'm not privy to some of our discussions, but I think the President is looking forward to seeing the issue of the insecurity being addressed at the regional level, which is very important. You can't address the issue of insecurity in Borno State without interfacing with the government of Niger, with the government of Cameroon, as well as the government of Chad. They are very important. Because uh, what about the waterways? Which is also very important. So we need to coalesce, we need to put heads together and then say the right thing. The most important thing is that people don't say the right thing. I'm in the sub-region. Yes, sometimes the Nigerian army are not even, they don't have even enough ammunition. Yes. You can see what our, the outcome of our discussion resolutions at the Northeast Governors Forum. We categorically stated that fees has started returning to the Northeast gradually. We appreciated the effort of the federal government. But again, we must to say the right thing. The gaps are eminent. The Nigerian army, do, do they have enough vehicles? No. Do they have enough ammunition? No. Do they have enough air, air guns? No. Do they have helicopters enough? No. Do they have enough strength, numerical strength? No. But they are doing their best. But again, we have to say the right thing. The issue of funding, I think... Uh, the, the, the nexus between peace, security, and development need not to be overemphasized. You cannot just say we don't have funding. This is never feasible. And we thank God Mr. President has sent a supplementary budget of about 800 billion naira to the National Assembly. This budget, I think, uh, most of the funding is going into the Nigerian military. This is good. I see no reason why if we are providing support for uh, for social investment of over 800 billion naira. And then we are saying that uh, we don't have money to, uh, to, to procure arms. Security is very important. We have to prioritize our demands. We have to prioritize our objectives. We have to place security as number one priority. We have to address security as number one. We can see some of money, monies are going into many MDS. 
And, and I believe most of this money are going into the torturous, bureaucratic melting pots of the ministerial systems. Why not security? Security is essential. And therefore, you construct road. If there is no security, nobody will fly. You decided to spin put internally displaced persons by giving them 20,000, 30,000 naira. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is not important. Provide, create an, environment, create an enabling environment that they can be on their own. How? Provide security in such a way that people will move freely on our highways. Yeah, so, Provide well, security in such a way that farmers can engage in their normal farming activities. This is very key. Provide security that will enhance transborder trading. This is very important. Ensure that each and every person in Nigeria will move freely. Thank you.